Hey guys, welcome back to my channel here. I know it's been a hot minute. I apologize for just how long it's been since I've put a video up here. I've been mainly focusing on my Twitch stream, which you guys can check at twitch.tv slash dizzy dizzy dino. Been streaming pad four days a week there. Uh, for any of your questions, if you want to just get in on our great community, come watch some gameplay, please do join us there. But this video I'm making today because the Dragonbound Dragon Collar Machine has just arrived for the second time, and thanks to everybody's votes, Cotton is in the MP shop. And I have a very special team. Uh, very special team that coincides with all this. It's a team that if you've been a part of the stream at all, you know I've been working on ever since Dragonbound Dragon Collar came for the first time. I've been working on this team and refining it, and it started as a joke, it started as a meme, but ever since Valentine's Day Machine came around, I think I have the best A3 farming team in the current meta. And as far as I know, this team is still undiscovered, so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I know that's a bold statement, and I know so many of you will disagree with me, but I will disagree with you. So <laughs> let's go, let's take a look at it. So first of all, Let's go ahead and take a look at the team. The team is called Nudist Beach. This is the team. This is the name I've ended on. Uh, it's it's a it's a kill la kill reference, mainly because the team started as Team Killer, Killer memes, bunch of killers, kill la kill, Nudist Beach, and there we are. So this is Team Nudist Beach. It runs every sub in this every sub in this team you can get from the Dragonbound Dragon Collar Machine. If you don't have Valentine's Day, you can run TARDIS with a Super Awakened Pixel. Um, otherwise, the leader is Nay in her unevolved form. Or you can buy Cotton and run Cotton in her unevolved form. The team pairs the two of them. So the, leaders, the leader skill is 8x to attack, 3x to recovery when all sub monsters are non collab dragon bound or dragon colors. And then Cotton's is 2x HP and 8x attack for the same requirements. So we end up with 2x hit points, 64x attack, 3x recovery. Uh, and this non collab part trips a lot of people up because people will go, wait, how can you run these cards? They're part of the dragon bound dragon collar collab. Technically, that's not a collab, it's a special rem. Um, originally in Japan, these are actually differentiated. What, what A collab versus a special rem are differentiated. And if you ever want to know specifically if a card is collab or not, you can actually go into your monster box. You can sort by special and go to collab. And if it doesn't pop up, it's not a collab. So collabs are king of fighters, uh, Monster Hunter, um, Rurouni Kenshin, Bleach, Final Fantasy, uh, what else have we had? Fist of the North Star, Pad X, uh, <laughs> Evangelion, Shinra Bansho, uh, things like that. Things like that are collabs, so like actual other IPs. But the Seasonal Rems, Brides, Heroin, uh, all that stuff, Valentine's, none of that counts as a collab, so you're free. And in fact, the only Dragonbound Dragon Collar I can really think of that actually is a collab is Kaede Another from Shinra Bansho. There might be another out there, but I can't think of it right now. Um, so, this is the team. This is, in my opinion, the best A3 farming team in the meta. Uh, it is able to clear everything all the time. And it only has to one combo on most of the floors. The team runs Shazel for triple devil killer. It runs Kiri for triple dragon killer. It runs number six for triple god killer. Now, I actually only own one Fujin active. So this team actually, my team, does die to the trifecta of Parvati, Vishnu, Hera Dragon, or Sopdet, Vishnu, Hera Dragon. If I get those three spawns, I do die. Prior to Valentine's Nay coming out, there was no Dragon Collar with a Void. So this team did lose 100% of the time to Noah Dragon. So I didn't bother 
making a video about it then. I didn't bother really proclaiming this is the best A3 farming team, but I loved the team regardless. Um, once she came out, everything changed. Suddenly I was able to beat every floor consistently and Noah Dragon. Uh, TARDIS works. TARDIS can't hold dragon killers, but TARDIS is wood, so he does get a color advantage to Noah Dragon. And you can run a burst, you can run, like, uh, Bacchus for the 5x to wood, and blow her up that way. But anyways, let's, enough talking about the team, let's run the team. And we'll take a look at the Inherits also. So let's hop into A3, because that's what I'm claiming this is best at farming. This runs a lot of other stuff too, but it's it's tuned for A3. So I'm running a friend cotton with Jinoga on it. Uh, you can run it with Urika, you can run it with Fujin, whatever you want. Um, my Ne has a Nene, uh, Halloween Nene. You could run Oichi. Uh, I'm mainly running a board that adds combo count. This is to help blow up Gaia Dragon because I'm too lazy to run the hit point badge. I could run hit point badge and take that off, but... Uh, Cronus, this avoid attribute absorption is essential for doing Noah Dragon consistent. It doesn't have to be Cronus, it can be anybody you want that has void attribute. Doesn't have to have a board attached to it because you can just pop a separate board. Uh, my Ney has Barbara. You can run a burst, you can run a board, whatever you want. Um, my Kiri is holding my Fujin active which probably goes better on Shazzle for the shorter cooldown, but since I have one on a Cotton with a short cooldown, it's okay. And then my number six, this is probably the strangest inherit on the team, is running Gosha. Now, this team really only needs active help on three floors. It needs active help for any, well, not three floors, three things. It needs active help for damage shields, damage absorb shields. It needs active help for Noah Dragon, and it needs active help for the Predras. Uh, when I used to run TARDIS, I kept a laser on TARDIS, and that took care of the Predras. Now I'm running Gosha. Mainly because the laser became useless after the Predras, whereas this is still useful after them. Okay, so here we go into the first floor. We've got Kappa Spawn. Uh, again, we're just going to combo here. I know this team's about not comboing, but there's sometimes that you just can't help it. You know, like, we do want to get rid of these jammers. I mean, one comboing and leaving ten jammers on the board doesn't help anybody. Okay, next floor, we've got Yamatsumi. Great spawn. He's a god, he's green, what more do you want? One combo is enough to kill him, by the way. We got the Tons. My team is set up so that a four match of darks leaves one ton alive. Uh, this was important to me <laughs> because I don't have enough SDRs for all my subs. And uh, when we eat a big fat SDR on the previous floor, I need to be able to stall it back up here. Uh, my team actually also gets into a little bit of trouble because I don't have to SDRs. These triple killers are more for, like, meme factor than actual quality. You would ideally have, like, two SDRs on everybody, at least. Okay, so this guy is a dragon, so we can just three match blues and hope darks don't skyfall. Okay. Um... Again, these are devils, you can just five match. Again, I just moved so that nothing else would, uh, okay, so unicorn. Unfortunately, regardless of the team you're playing, you're usually stuck here for a couple turns. Maybe I should just keep playing this till I get the perfect take of all the right spawns. Nah, but I want to show you guys it's a real... I'm, I'm just kidding. I want to show you guys a real run. Again, we do have 2x to our hit points and 3x to our recovery. So having to deal with, like, floors where we have to tank a couple hits is not a problem. Like, we are a really tanky team. Uh, 
Okay. Now we can kill. It's a healer type. Our uh, number six is actually outfitted with three latent healer killers. And uh, if you guys don't know, each latent killer is 1.5x as opposed to the 3x of a real killer. So they stack kind of like prongs. So two of them is 2.25 and three is 3.3 something. So it takes three latent killers to equal one normal killer. And it's actually a little bit more than one normal killer. But so you can kind of picture this as three healer killer, three, sorry, three god killers and a healer killer. Three dragon killers and a physical killer. Three devil killers and an attacker killer is what it's like. Okay. Whoa, let's go ahead and... One combo this floor, five match with our god killer. Sub colors enough. One four match of darks is enough to kill this floor. I don't know what I'm doing right now. That match uh, was pretty bad. I don't think, I don't think any orbs is going to save that amount of PSI. So let's just go ahead and rewind and pretend that didn't happen and get four more darks on the board. All right. So let's, uh, we just got to this floor. Four orbs should kill this. Astalos and Herit would be very fun to play with, too. Okay, she's devil. We can one combo her, but having just eaten that gravity, I would like to heal back up. Again, we did, probably didn't need to combo. Oh, yeah, that's about good. Okay. We got devil type here, so let's just go ahead and one combo her. We've got the dragons. He does have blue absorb, so we will just five match the darks instead and pray blue does not skyfall. Okay, then we get to god. And for my team, uh, in the past, I ran a TARDIS on the team in place of this Vene, like I mentioned, and I ran a laser on it. I don't run laser now, so I run Gosha. As long as I have three darks on this board, I can pop this and get two enhanced prongs, which is actually enough to kill this floor. And we actually have five hearts for the next floor in case it's Zara, and it's Zara. Now, unfortunately, Zara has a combo shield, so we can't just two combo her, him, them. Just pretend you didn't try to see me make that light match. Okay, we got Fatty. Uh, sub color on number six is actually enough to kill. Majedra, this is a little annoying. Five X for fire, 1.5 for water. So we could kill him, but we might be in not the nicest position on the next floor. I think pretty much every team, unless you're running a team that has, like, really redundant, like, ragdrag lead with two ragdrag subs, is going to be stuck a couple turns here. I mean, we could kill him, but it just doesn't put us in the most consistent part for the following floors. So, you just want to make sure, like, if you're in a rush, go ahead and kill him. Otherwise, you know, take your time. I don't know what kind of rush that would be. I don't know what situation not stalling two turns would really, uh, I don't know, maybe if you're uh, in a house on fire 
and you gotta finish this run before you can escape. Okay, so again, we could just one combo this, but I don't have any life right now, and I would like some. And we are actually short on hearts. Uh, so we have a couple options. I could pop, if I'm really nervous about my hearts, I can pop a board change. Otherwise, we can one combo. And the, the problem with one comboing or two comboing or three comboing is if we match blues or darks, the run is over. Let's just go ahead and pop an active. Le eeny meeny miny mo, I pick this one. Just in case we get Noah Dragon. So the other thing to uh, pay attention, the main thing to pay attention to when playing this team, apart from what typing the, um, what typing you're up against, is when you're on a floor that has a resolve after it. Because you do want to make sure that you have hearts. Okay, we got Shiva. So we eat skill delay. Again, he has a combo shield, so we're not going to be one comboing, unfortunately. Figures I would get all these combo shields that I'm trying to show you. How this team can one combo. Every now and then I get an optimal run where literally every floor is like a one combo. <laughs> every floor is just gonna be combo shield now just so I can, just to prove me wrong. I mean, it's not that the team struggles with it, but it's a lot more fun when the team is one comboing every floor. Uh-oh, our boards. Rip our boards. Dragon. Again, easy spawn. As long as you actually brought a uh, Fujin active. And if you want, you could even stall one turn to let her heal you back to full before you blow her up. It's usually what I do. Regardless of the team I'm playing, I'll just let her heal me back to full. Again, with all our killers, we can really just one comp. I mean, I I've never one comboed her. I'm actually not sure that we can one combo. Or we can probably two combo or three combo her. <laughs> Little nervous about that, if I'm being honest. I usually just match the board. Okay, we got God Dragon Killer for this. Um, I have a board left. I might as well pop it. the end so that wasn't the most optimal run for this team this team can definitely have much more optimal spawns to show off its strength but the point is that it clears really 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 consistently um, even in a run like that we got most of our actives tapped out And the really cool thing about this team is just that, you know, all the subs are available in this current 
um, in this current run. And I know a lot of you are going to be pulling it, trying to hunt for your Adales, trying to hunt for more cotton, trying to hunt for whoever it is you're trying to hunt for. Um, you'll probably end up with a lot of these subs. And they're very great for niche use, but they're also great in this setup. Also, sometimes you pull a Nay, a Cotton, you're lazy to evolve it. Um, or you haven't gotten around to evolving it yet. Um, or you plan to evolve it. I recommend trying this team out before you do because it is loads of fun and there's just so many variations on it. Um, before I go today, to celebrate this, I know you're gonna, everybody staring at this 50 pal pulls, triggering them. Let's go ahead and pull the Dragon Bound Dragon Collar machine once to celebrate. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, okay. Okay. Not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. Let's give a hand for Distel. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not mad at that at all. Um, yeah. I'm not mad at that at all. All right. I actually didn't have that yet, so that's great. So, uh, whether you guys choose to buy cotton or not, whether you choose to pull Dragon Bound Dragon Collar or not, uh, definitely good luck with everything you guys got. I plan to come back and I plan to put another video out next week showing off um, how to match Amen. I've been playing a lot of Amen recently and I've been trying to match Amen very deliberately to come up with a guide uh, to make it a little easier to match for you guys. So I'd like to put a guide together on how to match Amen consistently. You'll notice this team is pretty troll. Uh, I like to have a lot of fun. So again, if you uh, have, if you aren't already a part of the stream, please guys come by twitch.tv slash dizzy dizzy dino. I stream Tuesdays and Wednesdays starting at 6.30 Pacific time. I, move, I stream pad for about three hours, then move on to other content. And then Friday and Sunday, we start at 7.30 PM Pacific time. And again, three, four hours, move on to other content. We stream all kinds of stuff after pad. Recently, I've been playing a lot of Slay the Spire. Uh, currently, we're streaming through Yakuza 6. So if you're interested in checking out the other games we do, definitely come by after the pad streams. I'm often streaming all the way into the morning, like talking 10, 12 hour streams. Saturday is a dedicated non-pad day too, where we stream just variety games. Um, and if you guys haven't, please join our community on Discord, discord.gg slash dizzydizzydino. You can always get in touch with me there and anybody from the stream, from the community. If you have questions you want answered, if you just want to share your achievements, your struggles, looking for a co-op partner, looking for friends with certain leads up, you can definitely find us all there. Anyways, thank you guys so much, and I look forward to catching you next time. Bye.